You're watching college baseball on the SEC Network. After a rainy Thursday, the skies have cleared over Swayze Field for a rivalry matchup that gets started on this Thursday night. LSU and number six, Ole Miss. This one hits sharply to Keenan. Three balls on the ground. In the top of the first, a good start for Ryan Rollison as LSU goes one, two, three. Rebels coming to the plate. Jacob Adams hits this one on a line to right. Duplantis on the run, dives for it and makes the catch. 293, his numbers against left-handers actually a little better than that. Mm -hmm. And he smashes this one to right. Fortez going to try to score. Remember, he came up slowly. The throw comes in to second. Duplantis doesn't even try at the plate. Ole Miss takes a 1-0 lead. You might not be able to score Bain as if you hit it right to Keenan at third base, who's played even with the bag. This should get the run home. Coombs does his job, it's one to one. Rowe hits it on a line to right. One hopper against the fence. Going to head towards second with a stand up double. Routine ground ball, plates a run. Ground ball right side. Zabowski will step on the bag. That does score the run. Made it hard for him to get back in. He lifts this one to right. Duplantis on the run. That's a one hopper off the base of the wall. Another double for Tim Rowe, his fourth of the year. Gets away, runner trying to come home to score the flip to Hess. Keenan got under the tag and we are tied at two. Thomas Dillard takes off. Throw to second is out into center field. Dillard thinks about trying to take an extra base, decides to stay put. With Will Golson waiting on deck. Dillard going to try to steal third, and he does so. Down in the zone. That ball snagged by the third baseman to second only for one. The run will come home to score, and Ole Miss takes a 3-2 to two lead. What a play by Josh Smith at third. And Keenan lines it up the middle, a base hit. Or Cockrell rather does. Keenan trying to come around to score. Throw cut off middle of the infield. And Ole Miss leads four to three. Two for two with two doubles. And this one goes the opposite way into the left center field gap. Gets by Jordan. Rowe trying to turn it into another double. Cockrell comes all the way around from first to score. And LSU leads five to three. Adams squares early, lays it down third base side, and it's a good one. Ground ball, right side, base hit with the infield drawn in. Rowe comes around to score, throw back into the middle of the infield. Kessinger scores, and Ole Miss leads 7-3. Will Golson with an RBI on the fielder's choice. And his last at bat, he lines this one to right on the run. That's going to fall in in front of Watson. Two runs come around to score. And now everybody, all nine hitters in the Ole Miss lineup have reached safely tonight. Rebels have opened it up, leading nine to three. Ole Miss players that have not scored in this game. Bases loaded, back-to-back -back walks for Peterson since entering. Zabowski comes home to score. 3-1 to Kessinger, another bases loaded walk. Greg Kessinger picks up his 24th RBI of the year. The 3-0 to Jacob Adams, not even close. Another bases loaded walk, another run comes home to score. Stan gets away. Another run will come home to score. Cockrell jogs home on the wild pitch. All four, it gets away. That's going to allow another run home to, to come home and score. Kessinger touches the plate. The other's Mississippi State, who has won five of their last six against Ole Miss and Arkansas in league play. Yeah, certainly. Chance for a double play, 4-6-3 to watch play the game of baseball. Yeah, but they're, you know what you love about them? Like a lot of college players, they are wide open no matter the situation. And Bo Jordan showed you that with that outstanding catch he had 
in the top half of the last inning. Chofi gets a strike out of Bryce Jordan, and that ends this ball game. Ole Miss improves to 11 and 8 in SEC play. They're 33 and 10 overall. LSU falls to 9 and 10 in the league, 25 and 18.